Hi, it's Woody Huffines, and I own the Nerds to Go in McKinney and Frisco, Texas, and I'm here to talk to you about tech for the untechnical. In this case, how important are updates? One of the challenges in software, always has been, always will be, is software is poorly written. Even the best software is poorly written. It has problems and those problems pop up and they cause problems for you, either in terms of security or in terms of the way the software runs. And one of the ways that you can keep yourself safe or make your process work better is if you update the software. Most of the software updates that we get these days have to do with security. Why is security update such a big deal? Well, my favorite story from this year is a piece of software. It's called WinRAR. It was, a, um, it was an archiving software that was written 20 years ago. And one of the uh, routines in the WinRAR update, and it's got like 500 million downloads over 20 years, they found out from day one there was a security vulnerability that people found and started using about six months ago. So even software that's been out for a long time can have security vulnerabilities or problems in it that you're not even aware of. And that's the old stuff. The new stuff is much bigger and much more complex and therefore has a lot more security problems. The second Tuesday of each month is like Update Tuesday and that's when usually Microsoft and Adobe and some others push out whatever software updates are necessary to fix the things that they have found in the succeeding month. And sometimes there'll be 80 or 90 different updates to the software. And right after Update Tuesday is Hacker Wednesday, because for a hacker, the updates that come out on Tuesday give you a roadmap for what the vulnerability is in the software. So it's really important that you update your software because the next day people know what the vulnerabilities are and they go after them. But then on the other hand, and especially in Windows world, for the past three or four updates, the Windows update has broken as many computers as it's fixed. There's been all kind of problems that sound cards that don't work or network adapter cards that don't connect to your internet or, well, the list is very long. And each time it comes out, the Windows update process breaks a bunch of people's machines. But if you don't do the update, you could be vulnerable for security problems. Which way should you go? Well, the first thing that most of us should do is enable automatic updates so that that update that comes out automatically updates your machine so that you don't have to go out and look at each of the updates. And it's also important to make sure that all of your software that you use, the applications, is also on an update process if one is available because as they find vulnerabilities and as they find problems that cause you security or privacy issues, they get updated and they get updated automatically. The downside to that is sometimes the update breaks your computer. So where do you come down on this? Well, it's kind of hard to make a recommendation because at the end of the day, although software and software vulnerabilities are a big issue, I don't know that you can call them a big issue from anybody individually. So while a software update may break your computer, a software update may save you from a virus. So which way do you come down on that? Do you update your computer and take the risk that your sound card's not gonna work or that you can't connect to the internet because your network interface goes down? Or should you not update and maybe be at risk from security problems, but your sound card works and you can connect to the internet? It's a conundrum. I think at the end of the day, most of us should come down on the side of updating our software each time we have the opportunity to do so. Every time in Windows, when it updates your software, you have the opportunity to make a restore point. And that restore point freezes your computer configuration before the update. So if you update your machine and something's not working, you can't get any sound out of it, for example, you can go in and go to that last restore point and restore back to where you were before the update came. And that'll see if it fixed the driver or fixed the problem that caused your sound card or your speakers or your whatever not to work. The other thing that you can do is to make sure that you look through the updates because Windows has two kinds of updates. They've got security updates and they've got features updates. And sometimes the features updates may not even be things that you want. So as you look through the update process, you can exclude those that are features updates. Just take the security updates and wait until the feature update problems get ironed out. 
The problem with that is that it's no longer an automatic process, that you have to go in and look to see what is getting updated and whether you want to accept that update or accept the risk of the computer security problems that not taking that update would give you. Overall, for all of us, the best thing to do, in my opinion, is to go ahead and take the update. Sometimes it might not work and sometimes it might cause a problem, but if it saves you from a computer vulnerability, it's an important step to take. It may not be as important for a home user because, in the main, a home user does not have mission-critical applications. For small businesses, on the other hand, computers are often very important to the way that you do business. And if your small business isn't running because the update broke your, broke your computer, you're not in business. So for small businesses, it's an even more critical process because the risk to their business is very high if they have a security issue, and the risk to the business is very high if Windows breaks your ability to connect to the Internet. Overall, again, even for small businesses, I would recommend that you take the updates. Make it an automatic process and make sure that once a week you hit a restore point. Remember, mark down the second Tuesday of the month on your calendar because that's when the updates are going to get pushed. If you go out on the Monday before that second Tuesday or the second Monday of the month, put it on your calendar, go in, hit a restore point, put a restore point on your computer so if on Tuesday you start having problems you at least have a place to go back to when you were working fine. It's still something that's not automatic but if it's a mission-critical application or it's a mission-critical computer, it might be nice to have a way to just back up 24 hours to make sure you're up and running. I'm Woody Huffines with nerds to go in McKinney and Frisco, Texas. If this information is helpful to you and like to see more of it, hit the subscribe button below in the notification bell. And when one of these things comes out, you'll get a notification so you can come on and watch them. Thanks for joining me.